We welcome you to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. With $5 million on the line, IndyCar racer Dan Weldon was just minutes into the last race of the season Sunday when his vehicle became one of 15 involved in a horrific wreck. Crashing while going speeds over 200 miles per hour. A friend since 2001, Ron Hemmelgarn, owner of Super Fitness and Hemmelgarn Racing, watched the tragedy unfold on television. It, the way the car took off got airborne and went sideways and hit the wall. It, it was a safety wall, it was a soft wall, but it's not designed for a helmet to, to hit. And though his death would not officially end the race for another two hours, Hemmelgarn's 33 years of experience in the sport told him the situation wasn't good. When they loaded his car uh, on the back of the flatbed and they put the yellow tarp over it, I knew that it was very, very bad because they don't do that with the cars unless it's something very serious. Sports photographer and Weldon friend since 2008, Andrew Weber, would learn of the fatal crash secondhand, but immediately thought of the last time he spoke with the British native. Wow, it's just amazing that I talked to him just a few weeks ago. I told him good luck and you know, he thanked me. While the two-time Indy 500 winner may not have needed the well wishes, Weber says Weldon was always gracious. If he was busy or not, he would always take time out of his day to talk with you, to talk with a fan. And despite the loss, Weber and Hemmelgarn both take solace in one thing, that their friend and father of two died doing what he loved. I know that Dan wanted to be in that race car. There was nothing he enjoyed more than going fast. And uh, how many people can really say that, that they, they did what they enjoyed and uh, he went out as a winner.